Today I decided to do a day in my life vlog as an OT And right now, off to a school for a session with a kid And in the morning, I was doing a lot of admin work Replying emails, trying to organise sessions And also filling up my performance plan for my upcoming performance review Because I worked one year in the company So I'll catch you later, bye! Okay, so I reached the school already and today the things that I'm working on with a child will be his teeth brushing and I'm going to work on a skill called motor planning and also I'm going to work on his visual perception skill. So the reason why I'm doing teeth brushing with him is because he's a 10 year old boy who is actually struggling to brush his own teeth. And what um, OT normally focus a bit more is on our ability to do our day to day self care and for him he has actually this difficulty called motor planning where he struggles to see like a movement like for example how we actually um like for example we see some brushing our teeth and motor planning is our ability to actually plan and execute this movement which is the area that he's struggling at so he's actually struggling on how to like turn and maneuver the toothbrush in his mouth so that his teeth is clean and he brushes with a lot of like force which is telling me that he doesn't know how to control his force so his body awareness is an area to work on so that's it and i will tell you how the session went with him later and this is a car boot of a pediatric OT with all the toys and i don't know all the toys and all the shit or like Jenga, Uno, cutting set, or kinetic sand play doh, art supplies, and all the games. Okay, so today I'm going to do. He's going to pull me while I sit on this scooter board. And I'm going to do a puzzle. And I'm going to do. Where is my toothbrush? I will do teeth brushing with him, which is in my bag. So, do I brush my teeth with him? Yes, I actually do. <laughs> okay, where do I go next? Do you remember? Crash! Good. And then? Well done. Puzzle. Take out the puzzle first. Over here, okay? The next step. Get toothpaste. Mm -hmm. And squeeze out. And then what's next? Apply toothpaste. Mm -hmm. And then wet toothpaste. Up toothbrush. Morning. Done. You have to brush your teeth tonight, okay? Brush off and check it off the one that I gave you at home, alright? Mommy, sir? Sister, and mm -hmm. all by myself, I think. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm just done with my session. I actually made use of like all this visual prompt so that he can check off his steps. It's uh, like a step-by-step -step manual for him. And I also got a little checklist that he need to brush his teeth twice a day. And I actually gave his family a copy of it. And he told me that he didn't brush his teeth because his, his toothpaste ran out. So I told him in the future, just because your toothpaste ran out, doesn't mean that you cannot, like you can't brush your teeth. On his visual perception skills with puzzles. Most kids, you know, when you do your puzzles, right, you start with like the corners first. But he actually had some difficulty trying to plan and like strategize. So it's something that I will continue to work on. And he also had difficulty trying to orientate. He like suka suka. Anyhow, like try and get can like to fit the pieces together. It, this is actually impacting on his day to day and his handwriting. Reason being is because the fact that this skill, knowing where your pieces are in relation to each other, is the same thing that you need to do when you learn a new sport. Like for example, kicking a ball. Knowing how far you are to kick the ball. 
maybe like netball or floorball or any ball sports lah. And knowing how much spacing in between your letters and your words. And even day to day, like walking through a crowd. Can I walk through a crowd without bumping into people? So this was why I did the scooter boarding exercises because I went to put the few markers on the ground and I told him to pull through the few markers without crashing into it. He needed a lot of my help to have a thing. Where do you think you should pull me so that you can maneuver around the few markers without crashing into it? So all this is a lot of repetition. I did it from a gross moto perspective, like a big moto movement. I did it from a fine moto perspective and I also transferred this to his day-to-day -day in terms of brushing a teeth. Like knowing how far is my toothbrush is to my teeth that is deep inside my mouth. Cause he needed a lot of my prompting to like, oh, it's a toothbrush all the way at the end. You got to brush your teeth at the inside. And that's that for this child and I'm going to go back home and write my notes now. I'm actually home now and today my session is actually near my house, hence I didn't go to the office. Well, I wrote up my notes. I wanted to share something that happened for my client yesterday. Context of this boy, actually really quite sayang him la. Like, he's 5 years old but he has cerebral palsy and his level is like level 5 which means he's pretty much lying in bed by himself in his own world at the age of 5. Not talking, non-verbal, daily self-care like feeding, showering, teeth brushing, dressing, everything. All the parents that like, bow everything. Yesterday for the first time, it felt like there was interaction with me and my other colleagues, the physio and the speech. It's a breakthrough given that the speech was like clapping, like clap, clap, clap. Previously in the past for the God knows, I think seven to eight sessions, he would just not respond. So whatever interaction that you have with him is like talking to a wall. But for the first time, he responded. He copied what the speech was doing. And last session, I took a beanbag and I tapped on the beanbag to create a sound. He was actually trying to look for the beanbag and he actually hit the beanbag with his fist. And yesterday it felt like he could actually understand what we were saying. Cause he said to him, hey X, can you grab the beanbag? And he grabbed the beanbag and he was grabbing whatever items that we told him to. Basically, there was the interaction with his environment. He was like laughing and like clapping and we never had all this interaction from him since I started working with him since last year. So as a therapist, it's really very satisfying to see this. Yesterday, we had a very fun activity where he liked animal sound. So I printed a picture of a cat and I put it away from him. So I was like, meow, meow. Then he turned his head and he looked at the picture. I know it seems like nothing to most of you, but for him and for me right, and my colleagues, it means a lot eh, given that he's interacting with his environment rather than being stuck in his own world. He turned and looked, and then we guided him to grab the ball and throw it into the bowl. That interaction, I took a cotton ball and a tea cut, like rub it around his face, like his eyes, his eyebrow to get that awareness. And he was actually smiling and like, like responding to it. Previously, it's just completely unresponsive. So, thank you. I'm so thankful on his progress and I'm very thankful that I get to work with my colleagues who are such an amazing bunch of people to work with. Yes, that's my happiness of the week. So I just done writing my notes. So now I want to drop the family an update. Usually in our notes, we will need to write down what we observe and what this actually signifies like what areas the child or your participant need to continue to work on and usually I use that to guide my next session preparation for the child Lunchtime So for the rest of the afternoon I'm just going to do a few session preparations for my sessions next week and finalize like a few reports that I gotten back from the clinical team that pretty much the day of OT. Go for sessions, which is quite good. I like the change in environment. Like if you're quite sick of writing reports and doing session preparation, you get to drive around, see people, then come back and like do your notes. I quite like this part of the job. Hi. <laughs> but anyways, I'll show you our session preparation later. That's it for now.
A few moments later. I'm actually really sleepy though. Oh, I need to finish this quickly so that I can knock off. Oh my god. I'm really so sleepy, man. Tomorrow, I'm actually seeing a new client. I'm actually going to school with a speech to do some observations. So you see this little worksheet? I got like a screening tool. So I'm actually going to add all the relevant screening tool into the worksheet so that I don't have to keep jumping around. Tomorrow, I can just bring the worksheet and just like check off whatever thing that I want to observe. Because this client is a new one for me. So I want to do some assessment so that I know what to work on when I commence my interventions with the child. Measuring and fitting for a manual wheelchair. Wheelchair, please make sure your brakes are locked. To measure hip width, press close in and measure. To measure lower leg, start from the planted heel to the bottom of the leg. Watching the video is because this Friday, I'm actually going over to a client's house to take some measurements because we want to get her own personalized wheelchair. It's my first time doing this. I never measure any like wheelchair before, so I'm very new to this. So just doing a bit of research. I roughly know the theory. I roughly know how to measure, but it's my first time doing it. So I don't want to mess up because after all, it's, it does affect the client directly. Later, the wheelchair like not suitable for her. What? A lot to learn, so that's that. Quite fun though, to be honest. So we got to assess her sitting balance, measure like her seat weave, seat depth, back height, leg length, like, uh, like everything. Uh. Then I will go and measure her door frame so that to make sure that the wheelchair can like, fit through it. Today's vlog will come to an end because I'm actually finally done with all my work for today. And no, actually no, I'm not done. I still need to fill up the performance plan. That's so tedious, so I got to fill that up. But thank you for watching and I will see you soon. Bye! Now trust me, this not just a fade If it goes well, there might just be a wedding ring Wanna fill your cup with some morning coffee Wanna tell you all the promises I wanna keep Wanna wrap my arms around you Give you the warmth you need So can you take this chance? I want you, girl, grab my hand I don't wanna be stuck in a situation ship. Just let me know I'm down to risk it all I don't like temporary love Seeing all these couples while I'm scrolling through the grill Thomas and Zendaya, I'm on